Good morning, gentlemen, or afternoon, probably more than close to afternoon. Anyway, welcome back to Rendezvous SMT Server. Today is Destrian. Sometimes I've had more than <laughs> not another day like that. How are you doing, Des? I am fan freaking tastic. Do you want to know why? I would, I would love to know why. My Mother's Day present came early. What? Yay! That why you sound so gorgeous. My dulcet tones are even dulcetier. Yeah. <laughs> I got a new headset for Mother's Day. Oh, Yay! Snap. Now it won't like shut down in the middle of playing and. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we got some good Corsair headsets previously, and, and we have tried using those on the recordings. They were not very good with directional sound. They kind of picked up everything and anything, ev just all the things, all the time. These ones are... And, and not only that, it would shut off randomly, even when it was fully powered or plugged in. And it would... um, What was it doing? Like... It would just shut off, and sometimes it would, uh, it, the mic wouldn't work. You'd put the mic down, and it wouldn't recognize that the mic was on. Yeah. And you'd turn it on, and it wouldn't turn on. And I, it was so annoying. I think one time it actually did that for a full episode. Or not for a full episode, for a full clip. It was a long clip, which I was really disappointed because it was um, <laughs> when Jolly and, and Nate Oh, well, it was Nate taking us a tour mm. of the Jolly to product thingies. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, yeah, anyway, I think they're G... Logitech G... Logitech? Logitech. I think it was G433. Something like I that. I'll put, I'll put it in the description if you're interested. Anyway, on to more Minecrafty things. Uh, as you can see, I have my box is here, uh, as I have been. So... Did Did you tell them that you got one for Father's Day too? I did not. Uh, if If you think, if you notice that I also sound ruggedly handy, <laughs> that is because I got one as well. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I, I'm super happy with it, uh, and I I think I'm. I'm also recording with it, so if you, you know, you'll, you'll notice. Anyway, I feel like I'm babbling on. You haven't. You're good. Okay. This is why I have Desri. She she keeps me in line. That's right. Um, Behind every good man is a better woman. <laughs> well, if it was wasn't a good woman behind, a pretty average man. That's right. And oh, also one thing that I, I happened a couple of days ago. Uh, our lovely admins of the server, love them to bits. Uh, they had we had requested to get the the coordinates HUD that we had on the SMP world, and they did it. Yay! So, huge shout out to them. They are awesome. Thank um, you, SR. Also, if we if I open the tab list here, like I it from all my first person shooter game time games. You see two new two new faces on there, and that's Gumby and Debog's Bog. Um, I oh, had a little chat with Gumby. He was uh, on with a bunch of other people uh, on Discord. Lots of fun. Um, just uh, nothing exciting. Anyway, back to being focused. Focus. Focus. <sighs> okay, if you see this monstrosity over here, we were we were we were gonna make an iron farm. He did the tedious part of finding
All right. So that would have been, uh, I don't know, maybe. Oh, okay. That is an exciting death message and totally threw me off. <laughs> that. Um, so a lot of progress, not a lot of time uh, for you guys, but it was hours and hours of work for us. But it is good that we have all the gunpowder for all the crazy stuff and all the flying we do. Because flying is fun. Not gonna lie. Um, one thing we had been working on a to help Jolly both uh, decorate his his shop. He has a trident shop at Spawn, uh, which he wanted to have a sunflower and a and a, I offered. Well, he wanted a piston door, and I eventually, with some help, uh, actually made that for him. Uh, so he dropped these bad boys off for one for me and one for for Desdrian. Um, a channeling, hailing five loyalty, mending and breaking trident. It's crazy. Um, Jolly giving us more things. We Dude. love Jolly. Yeah, Jolly for mayor. Seriously, he's good people. I would definitely vote for him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so. he's no Pedro, but. <laughs> yeah, so bam. Um if you don't know how, how these things work, um all they are are five layers of two block spaces with uh you know a spawn floor. And then you cover the roof with trapdoors so only creepers can spawn. The kitties in the middle scare them to the side and bam, bada bing bada boom, a gunpowder in your pocket. I thought you were talking about the tridents, if you don't know how the tridents work, and I was going to be like, join the club. Oh. If you don't know how tridents work, here is a a lesson in tridents. So, first, have your little trusty mouse cursor, and you find the thing you want to throw your trident at. Hold back. Uh, it doesn't take very long to charge back, actually, so just there, and you let go. If you miss, you just hit the ground, it'll come back to you if you have loyalty. What I like to do is I like to throw mine and then switch immediately to my sword. So it'll give me the looting effect. Same thing you can do with a bow. Once your arrow is in midair, you can switch it to something that's looting to get the looting effect. Um, I don't think the trident does as much damage as... Um, as a bow, but it does allow you to have mending and kind of like infinity and mending because you have loyalty. It always comes back. So that's one thing why I like it. Also, you can you can use it as a melee weapon. I don't think a lot of people know that. Um, but I mean, I still think I mean just use a sword because that's kind of what the sword is all about. But yeah, I like it. Thank you so much, Jolly. Um, yeah, I think for what we've done here, we have cleared out a lot of space. I actually had a time lapse of, I actually had a recording for digging out all this area. I took out all the trees, well, a lot of the trees, these big, beautiful ones uh, I kept in place because I, I like them. I had uh, this area, I, I was thinking, and me and Des wanted to have, we like to have a lot of farms. So we wanted to have an industrial area. Um, my thought behind having it here is that our base is going to be there. That's going to be our pretty area. And we're kind of starting to figure out what we want to do. We were thinking of having a little bedroom here with like bun like this whole corner be glass. So you can have a nice little view all over the place. Yeah, and then, but behind this mountain, and hopefully mostly hidden, we're going to have iron farm and creeper farm and maybe a mob farm eventually, as well as a, uh, we're going to do sheep farm. Yeah, it's kind of those farms that you kind of kind of just pick the location of where you want them. I uh, really hope they picked, uh, the auto just picked up Boogity being a goofball in the background. <laughs> But yeah, so more farms to come, but Iron Farm and Creeper Farm are like the big ones since Elytra 
and well, iron. We need to buy a house out in the woods. There's lots of stuff in the neighborhood. Yeah, so, uh... So aren't... that the screams don't emit a police call. <laughs> There's a child screaming, we don't understand. <laughs> yeah, us either. Join the club. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's laughing with her screaming. Yeah, I think they're screams of joy. <gasps> Usually when I come in there, she seems perfectly content. Not oh. dropping many, huh? Um, oh, oh. Give us, give us. Oh, I I'll do the rest of self touch. Oh, I got two. I think it, there's like five remaining. So far, I've got 35 diamonds. That's awesome. Anyway, I had a proposition for you, Jolly. Yes. You have a lot of things, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, so at your base, I mean, you, you let me use your village training hall and, and stuff like that. And, and you give us forks and stuff. It's great. So what we were thinking is that I don't want to build a training hall. Because you already have one, right? So you can use our farms. And we'll show the gunpowder farm and soon to be iron farm. It's going to be a pretty beefy iron farm too, so... Oh yes. Here, here, come, come, come look. Okay, sure. Um, um, but regarding the um, uh, trading hall, I was planning to do one amazing one in the end, so that everyone could uh, oh. trade. Are you just gonna move the villagers you already have, or get new ones? No. Yes. Okay. Well, until then, maybe we'll tell. Oh. So that's why the other guy was a little bit um. This is amazing. Oh, and it, it was a little fast, so our sorter didn't actually sort it out too well. But Jesus. Yeah, this is about... I already made a couple of shulker boxes of rockets. But this, oh my god. Uh, yeah, this is only like half an hour. So... It's, it's I... quite, quite beefy. Yeah, look at so it. So yesterday I used 36 stacks, and I have about this much remaining in my chests. But yeah. it's been running for a long time. Oh, like this... a long time now. No, we we will try AFK here for a little bit and um, make sure that there will be stuff here, available. I'll take all this out and then we'll see what how much we get while just we're standing here. But I can't take that out because my inventory's full. Oh, Jolly, do you want do you want some gunpowder? Oh no, thank you. Takes you have to sample the product, man. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll test the quality. Yeah. It took three stacks. Already got okay. nine, ten, eleven in there. Yeah. 15 just since we've been standing here. Yeah. Jeez. So, so this is going to be a pretty lucrative deal for you, I would hope. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll just, you know, be able to use your, your farms because you have farms around. Yes, I do. Does... Uh, like I said, I have uh, pretty much unlimited golden apples. I will just need you to bring or make the potions required. Okay. I have some I, resources. I... You can... Take those. I am definitely all down for making potions. That is Actually, something I can do. Well, even better. I was looking at. I was looking into a uh, system where we could automatically brew potions. Oh, I can make one of those. Yeah, Bet. I got a mini one. It'll upstairs. be better than my door. Quiet. I'm sleeping. <laughs> oh. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> I like the purple bed and the purple shulker on the purple cape oh. and like the purple attire oh. and the purple beads in your hair and the purple color in your shirt. And I think I'm gonna breathe now. Oh, then, then you do, will you sense a theme with mine? Oh, that's wrong, Pox. Is it green? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All farming aside, now it's time for something fun. Some building. So we are in, I guess this is the city area, Des? Uh, yep. Oh. Okay. So this would be, so this is Sheep's Evil... Incorporated tower. Evil sheep. Evil sheep. Oh, black sheep. The black sheep owns this thing. Uh, this is a building that comes from the cartoon Phineas and Ferb. She has recreated it, which is super cool. Um, oh, does the inside need to be like that then? Uh, I don't think he instructed us on that, so I wasn't planning on it. I've never seen that cartoon, so. Ooh. That's not very good to say in uh, today's internet age. 
No, I'm just... Um, yeah, and if you've noticed that all my uh, items have different names, I died in the end while fighting a dragon. I blew up. And surprisingly, all my items just kind of disappeared. I don't know why. Um, but Jolly was super helpful and just gave me a bunch of stuff so I could um, get my items back. So thanks, Jolly, again. <laughs> um, here, I'm going to start on, because he was thinking lobby area down here. So I was like, do we do this or do we want to like have slabs all across here hmm because i'm thinking either diorite which i like diorite could be cool or perhaps perhaps something like quartz but this is expensive hmm do it like this we have accent colors on this side. Or maybe I just want to pull all this back, give us a little bit more space on the sides because we probably will have elevators in the back. Here, let's try, let's try this. Because this is just a reception area. Don't need it to be huge. Let's just have torches for now. So something simple like this. And then we can add like thinking we do I don't know, but do reception areas normally have like computers or something, right? Uh they should be like a security guard or a receptionist. Okay. I boy wouldn't put in the receptionist have like uh computer yes, like oh like check you in oh i'll check with the, the the computer with the system so. in a building this size she wouldn't she's not like a receptionist for like one place she's like he or she would be um like directory assistance yeah so what we can do uh, is we can just do dr evil's lab is on floor three type of thing uh, loady i think that'll be that'll be Or, let's see, we could also try, hmm, do, do, do. okay, if we do that, we can just do, like, bam, golden carrot, that's, uh, that's the brand of laptop that this person has. So, first one goes up, so let's build it one round, just to be safe. To a sticky piston, sticky there, there, there. We need a what? And it will go pointing into here, right? So let's first just stack up a few blocks here to make sure that it stops. And then we just add to that. Or go. Now we break this. Uh, this is bad. This is very bad. What? It's just going. I thought it would stop. Oh. I'm panicking. Where is it? Right here. Oh. Stop. Place all the blocks. Okay. <laughs> this is why we need obsidian or removable objects because uh, rogue flying machines are no fun. Let's uh, take this out. Just wanted to make sure I, I it works nice and well on the server as well because. Shouldn't be too much of a uh, difference between servers and single player. But sometimes we can. 
differences. So land it on that. Okay. And of course, we we add a little bit to it to make sure that it uh, works. So, hmm. do you want it to be in the the middle here, Des? All right, building is coming along quite nicely, mostly thanks to Des. Though I did make a little E for uh, because it's supposed to be Evil Link, just right up there. So wait, I thought. Wait, go back, go back, and, and look at that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that he misspelled it, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> that would have been so funny. Um, yeah, so we have a little reception area. Change it. I'll change it. <laughs> And look at these. Des, Des made lamps with, with flower pots and, and sea lantern. Or <laughs> sea lantern. And rods. And it actually works as a light because the actual stem actually emits light. I think it's super cool. Um, I made a elevator. So it goes up. Um, right now it kind of just goes up and you jump off at whatever floor you want. And then it will just return back to normal. Or back to the bottom floor. So here's a brief tour of that. And it goes here. And oh, bad. That, no, let's fix that. Uh, let's go to the first. Let's take a, take a little tour and see all the stuff that Des has done. I mean, I helped a little bit um, with stuff. But overall, I think it was mostly Des. Um, so... Here is, he wanted this to be the, the clone lab. Oh, um, oh, clone labs, Inc. for all your duplication needs. So we have a subject 006, uh, which is a named zombie. Uh, and then we wanted it to not be fully successful yet. So we have the clone, which is a baby zombie. Uh, to make it seem like it didn't come out uh, the right size yet, which I think was... Look at, the, look at the book. Okay, do I need to read? Yes. All right, so Clone Labs, Inc. Test 006. We are finally able to successfully clone the subject. Now we just have to wait to see if the clone develops naturally. For the time being, we will need to keep both test subjects and its clone under lock and key. We had to terminate both test subject 005 and clone 005. I have higher hopes for 006. That is awesome. I like it. Uh, another little reception area. Uh, I like it. I like it lots. And one thing, we, we were going to do it just for the, the floor to make the particles come through, but it looks really cool to have inner chest underneath. That's a really like unique effect. Okay, elevator coming up. Okay, so oh. I'll just come down. And we'll go go with. Okay, floor number two. Well, I guess one, two, three. Yeah, this is three. Um, this this is gonna be, or this is the potion. No. Um, yeah. Yeah. Potion. Potion. Room. Potion room. Potion lab. I think he room. said potion lab, but yeah, yeah, whatever. Same thing. Um, yeah, just like fruit brewing stands and like having things scattered around so you can show like kind of give it life to make it feel like it's a little bit used um nether wart just because nether wart is uh both pretty cool and also just very handy if i put this here i can't put it here can nope, i nope you cannot and i can't put it here i think can you I? can because i don't think signs are affected uh, let's see, and then brewing stand, just because that's how you would technically brew potions and things before. Can I click the button with this? Nope, it has to be a wooden button to do that. That's, maybe I'll do that, just because that'll be there. handy for all I'm here. So much junk in my inventory. Okay, let's uh, throw that away. Okay. So, to the next floor. Elevator coming up. Do you want to join? Yeah, but I won't have time. That's fine. Okay. I'll pearl. 
this we have still left to do. This is going to be the armory. And then I think this one is probably the one I want to stop at. Because the armory doesn't hold, have a whole lot yet. So we're going to wait with that. Um, cafeteria. Simple little cafeteria system. Um, uh, sorry, I was just reading chat there. Jolly, it seems like he needs some help. We'll go help him in a second here. Um, simple cafeteria system. You go get your tray and you kind of pick whatever you want. Um, and then we have little food on the table, different variations, all that fun stuff. Oops. And that is the last furnished area. Uh, I'm not sure if he wants us to try make spaceshipy looking builds up here or not. Maybe. Uh, I'll... Um, I don't think so. I thought that our job was in the interior. Yeah. And he was going to do that one, but are we supposed to do these? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to I'll have to talk to Sheep a little bit more and see. Yeah, he wasn't able to come online, so. Yeah, he was briefly Aww. on, but. I'm so glad you didn't catch that. What? What'd you do? I did not accidentally miss the stair and fall down. Huh. Okay, Jolly's got a raid. Um... Okay. Um. All right. Yeah, we're going to go quickly help Jolly. You did enjoy this episode. Please go. Ooh, that looks that looks what pretty was, cool. What was that? Huh? What a weird noise you made. What was that? Episode. Look, now it's a brown bear. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really cool, actually. I like it. <laughs> 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 um. Yeah, anyway, uh, if you did enjoy the episode, please do consider leaving a like, dislike rating. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, and if you are enjoying the content coming your way, please consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. And uh, and, to me. <laughs> and Tazrian. Uh, and put the notification bell on so you make sure you don't miss any of the episodes I release. And yeah, I will see you uh, on the next episode uh, of Doom. Rage quit?